What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'll be talking about a minor problem in Battlefield 1. Now, hold on, people, hold on your dislikes, because I know people are going to come in here and tell me, like, <laughs> It's obvious at this point that Battlefield 1 players have short attention spans, but please listen up. I enjoy this game, I love it since day one, I still play it to this day, and even though I go like you know kind of even because it's really for me like to go negative uh, i still enjoy the game even with the minor problem that i notice about this game i still enjoy it i love it and i recommend it to any fps player out there because it's a must-have game you got tanks old school weapons old school times old school maps it's refreshing from all that sci-fi bullshit oh my god so I recommend it people even though we have this little problem with the game so this minor problem that battlefield one has for sure is noticeable by many competitive players out there and um, it's only for competitive though casual players will still play through this no matter what so battlefield one the minor problem that this game has is the weapon customization which is i noticed the one thing i noticed like day one because when I jump into Battlefield 4, day one, I mean, you just kill a few people, you unlock new attachments, and you can be like, oh, well, I can add this attachment to make it a little bit more stable. And, you know, you go kill more out, out there and you unlock a side. And it just makes, you know, super fun creating your own weapon. That's what I enjoy about Battlefield 4. Despite me being a below average player in Battlefield 4, you know, I still enjoy the customization of weapons because I know I can make my assault rifle feel like an SMG or I can make it feel like a long range weapon. Like, that's the thing I enjoy about Battlefield 4. Now, Battlefield 1, you see, they give you a list and this list they show you a bunch of weapons. But in reality, in the assault class, you only have four different weapons two shotguns one is automatic one is single shot the other one is an smg and the fourth one is an automatic again an smg automatic and that one you unlock it when you get to rank 10 so you're stuck with actually two weapons in the beginning so um the reason why it doesn't look like three weapons is because they give you preset weapons the one with the foregrip and the other one with the side or the other one is just burst fire and that's it like why didn't they allow us to customize our own guns like how we wanted and not them customizing it for us you see that's the thing that's missing that's the key feature that will probably change the landscape of battlefield one and make it a little bit more fun for everybody and make it feel like oh the weapons aren't boring because you can customize it however you want you see, that's what that's one thing that I enjoyed about Battlefield 4. Just jumping in there, knowing that I can customize my gun however I want it. Long range, short range, you know, tactical way, silence way, you know, stealthy way. Anything I wanted with any weapon out there. With a, with a freaking, you know, single shot weapon, SMG, shotgun, anything. And that's what Battlefield 1 is lacking. And that's the, that's a minor problem because I know many players out there in Battlefield 1 don't even care about this. Because they're just playing casually. You know, they're not here out here to be competitive or win games. They're just out there because they want to enjoy the game. They want to just have fun. But players like myself, I'm like, I want more. I want more than just preset weapons, which I was, you know, pretty much worrying about since day one because I know EA was going to do this bullshit. They did it with Battlefield, uh, with Battlefront, actually. Battlefront, they just gave you a bunch of weapons with no customization attachments. Like, what's up with that? Like, come on, man. And then Battlefield Hardlining was the beginning of the, you know, of the end because, you know, Battlefield Hardlining limits you on the weapon selection. It was just four per category, four assault rifles, four snipers, four shotguns, and four SMGs. And that's it. You see, it started with Battlefield Hardland, and then we started to see it in Battlefront, and now it's in Battlefield 1 where we just have preset weapons. Why are we so limited on the weapon customization? That's my question to uh, EA right now. And I know people are going to be saying, well, it is the 1920s, Joe. You know, what do you expect? A fucking, you know, a fucking ACOG site or a hollow site or a laser site? You know, no, I don't expect that. But you know that there are grenade launchers available for you for in the medic class. There are freaking, you know, a silencer available for, available for you in story mode. Like, what the fuck? There's a silencer available for you. If you guys ever played the story mode, you guys should know you can pick up a pistol at some point and sneak around with a silenced pistol. I played it. I mean, the gameplay in the background is part of the story mode too, so I know what's up. 
So it really sucks that they didn't allow us to customize the weapons with the foregrip or because there are some foregrips available for you also with the SMGs and some of the assault rifles in the meta class. So why can't we just put it ourselves? So that's my question guys, that's my, um, you know, pretty much my minor problem with Battlefield 1, it's not a big deal, I'll still play the game and I'll still have so much fun despite knowing that there's not a lot of customization available and you know I'll just pass on my day. But I just wanted to talk about this because I know people are ignoring it and they're gonna let EA you know get away with some certain stuff despite you know Battlefield 4 having all these options and all these liberties and they're gonna limit us in the future. So anyways. That's my minor problem with Battlefield 1. I don't expect everybody to have the same minor problem because, you know, everybody's just enjoying the game, which I still do too, because it's fun, man. I mean, old school times, but I guess, you know, sci-fi, I'd rather choose freaking World War 1 and World War 2 and something or Vietnam or whatever. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see some more stuff like this, more commentaries and everything, make sure you subscribe and also leave a like on the video because the YouTube algorithm is so messed up. I need some help. So that is it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more commentaries.